Hi, I'm Stephanie Francis Ward with the ABA Journal. Today, I am talking about opera and the law with noted opera fan and legal scholar, U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. If you were an opera singer, what voice type would you want to have? That's a hard question. My first reaction would be, well, I would be a great soprano. I would be Renata Tivaldi or perhaps Beverly Sills. But then I think of Risa Stevens and say, well, perhaps I'd be a mezzo, like Marilyn Horne. Are there any male voices you might like? Oh, I like all male voices, but I don't wish I had one. <laughs> what operas do you like to listen to while you're doing light work? There are so many. One of my favorites is a recording of Aida with Zinko Melanoff and Yussi Bjerling and Boris Kristoff. I like to listen to anything that Puccini wrote, many others that Verdi wrote. My favorite opera of all is, is Don Giovanni's Mozart opera, and maybe my next favorite is also Mozart. It's The Marriage of Figaro. Do you have any opera recommendations for someone who's going through their first year of law school? Well, I have opera, opera recommendations to my law clerks. In fact, our first excursion every year is to go to the Washington National Opera on the evening when the young artists take over all the lead roles. And this year it will be uh, Don Giovanni on October 13th. I think uh, in addition to grand opera, Gilbert and Sullivan operas are wonderful for law students because Gilbert, the librettist, was a barrister, a British barrister, and his operators are filled with jokes about the law. In many operas, there are trials. Aida, the priests are trying uh, Radames, the tenor, for treason. In Andrea Chenier, there's a revolutionary, French revolutionary tribunal that condemns him. Prisons are a favorite setting in grand opera. And the most famous plea bargain in opera is Carmen's bargain with Don Jose. If he will allow her to escape, then she promises him that she will meet him at her friend's cafe. Tell me about the time that Placido Domingo sang to you at Harvard Law School. When Placido Domingo sang to me at Harvard Law School, it was one of the great moments of my life. I was getting an honorary degree from Harvard. I should preface this by saying I went to law school two years at Harvard, and I got my degree from Columbia. I attended Columbia for my third year. And over the years, Harvard uh, repented that decision not to give me a degree and offered me each year a, a law school degree. And my husband said, hold out for an honorary degree, which I got uh, last year. When I got to my hotel room, there was a list of the other honorees and Domingo's name was just before mine, so I knew I would be sitting with him on the platform, and that in itself was wonderful. After my degree was awarded, he got up to the microphone. They had written for him lyrics to the tune of Celeste Aida, and he sang them to me, and it was such a grand moment to be so close to that magnificent voice singing singing just as to me nice. well thank you so much for your time justice ginsburg i appreciate it
You're more than welcome. Thank you. I'm Stephanie Francis-Ward, signing off for the ABA Journal.